So very important derivation. Now the expression for electronic polarization. The expression for out of four polarizations, we are looking at first polarization called electronic polarization. Electronic So expression, when I say expression, you need to give the relation how the electronic polarization happens. I will say it is in specific, it is not the polarization, polarizability. Expression for the electronic polarizability. Let us write what is polarizability. You know that polarizability is denoted with alpha. alpha. Okay. So because it is electronic polarizability, we say it is polarizability is alpha. But you are only looking at electronic polarizability. Let me call this alpha e. And alpha e is equal to what? Hmm? How do we define alpha? <laughs> Electric. 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 So dipole moment if it is small p by electric. What is small p? Again, what is the dipole moment definition? Q if it is total charge into distance, let us say x by q. What is this x distance? Why do we get the electronic polarizability? Our electronic polarization happens due to what? Upon the application of the electric field, electron cloud displaces. That's what we learned so far. Okay. So let us do that quickly. Now, first case, let us start without electric field. When you don't apply any electric field, let us discuss that case, then we will apply the electric field. So consider a dielectric material and an atom in the dielectric material. How does a atom look like? Let us see. So without electric field or in the absence of the electric field, which means I am calling E is equal to 0. Two things you are discussing always. What is your polarization P, capital P, when your E is equal to 0? What is your capital P when E is not in support? Only these two things. Remember. So don't forget. First thing is your focus is when in the absence of the electric field, what happens to the polarization? What is the value of polarization in the absence of the electric field? Zero. Zero. So same thing we are explaining. So let us consider an atom. Same diagram will come. Atom has Positive charge nucleus and the electron cloud is surrounded by it. However, we need to write the same statement. The center of gravity of the positive and the center of gravity of the negative they coincide at the same point, therefore, they cancel out each other. And finally, your polarization becomes. So, in the absence of the electric field, your P is equal to 0 because the center of gravity of positive and the center of gravity of this negative electron flow, these dots are actually you know, electrons surrounded by this positive state. Yes. Take overall the center of gravity also lies there. This positive or negative are at the same point, this point. They are at the same point. The center of gravity is at the same point. So they cancel out each other. So let us try to understand the charges. Charge of electron cloud. What is the charge of electron cloud? E is its charge and it has z atoms. What is the charge? Minus z. That's not. Why minus? Minus because it is electron. Electron charge is minus 1.6 into 10 power 4 That is the charge of electron from minus 0. Similarly, charge of 
न्यूक्लियस आर द पॉजिटिव इज प्लस चार्ज ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस इज प्लस नाउ लेट मी राइट चार्ज डेंसिटी चार्ज डेंसिटी इज द आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग इट सो दैट इट इज इजी फॉर मी टू डिनर द एक्सप्रेशन लेटर सो द चार्ज डेंसिटी डिनोटेड विथ रो इज नथिंग बट density what is the formula of density mass by volume that is the normal density volume density this charge density is charged by volume what is the volume if i have the radius of this sphere as r well. v by q volume of this sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r Now rho is nothing but mass by volume. Mass means charge. Charge by volume. Charge is we are focusing on the electrons only because all us remember nucleus is too high. It cannot simply go. So the easiest way is the lighter ones. Electrons can move. So our focus is only on the electrons. Okay. So the charge density when you write you are writing for the electron cloud again minus j e by charge by volume. What is the charge volume? Four third pi. Or in the simple case, rho is equal to reverse minus three by four j e by pi r. Let us call it as clear. So, in the absence of the electricity, this is the story we have. Is it clear? Anybody has any doubt? No doubt. So now let me go to the other case. Now let us apply the electric field. So my case number one is presence of electric field. Presence of electric field. By saying that, what I am saying, E is not is equal to zero. What happens when you apply the electric field? displacement of charge happens therefore it is called electron polarization so when i apply the electric field in such a direction what am i say apply in this direction so the electron flow moves to this side because this is the positive side and this is the negative side of the field so it was previously when you don't apply Is the positive or is the negative? Let us say the positive charge is. When you apply the electric field, electron cloud sees the positive charge and this moves this side. So the thicker line was the electron cloud. Now it moves towards this side. This is original and this is after after the application of that. So it moved to some distance. The distance is, let me say, from here to there, it moved to a distance of x. <coughs> Electron cloud moved towards a distance of x. This is if I my new positive, the distance between two positives is also x. <coughs> Understand? So by a, by the application of the electric field, you moved your electron cloud to x distance. now your new charges when you want to write charge or the displacement see what is your aim you want to write the polarization but you want to write charge into x by q right so now you produce a new charge with the sphere of distance x that is your new charge now you develop that charge previously charges are not there it is zero now new charge means it has you displaced to x distance in this x distance it is three dimensional sphere what are the charges in that sphere that you need to know so let us write the new charge let me call that small q small q is developed upon the application now upon the application now what is small q Small q is nothing but 
charge on the sphere charge on the sphere of radius radius x understand it is not r it is only x now how do we get this charge if i want to write new charge q the definition will be expression for small q small q is nothing but rho into i give small example again crude example for us to understand this easily what now i am asking is i want to know the small charge so for that i so need what how i do it is let us buy a pizza okay the total cost of pizza is 100 rupees let us consider that's what we have discussed here the total charge you know the total cost will now for the simplicity what we are saying is let us write the charge density which means you make some 10 pieces only 10 pieces you make now you are asking what is the charge of one piece what is the cost of one piece that i am calling here that rho is the cost of one piece total by 10 10 rupees right now rho is 10 rupees so it's the cost of one piece. that's what you were told charge density in kilowatt is done now i am asking see one piece is 10 rupees and you have total in 10 pieces i don't want 10 pieces i need only 3 pieces Only three, these three pieces I need. One, two, three. Then how do I get the cost of three pieces? Is Q is nothing but what is the cost of each piece into cost of each piece into how many you need? Three. Then you will get the cost of what you want. Same thing we are doing here. You got the charge density. now what you are asking i don't want the entire charge density this is your charge density if i multiply this with the entire thing which means 4 dot pi r cube i will get only simply minus z e only i don't want the entire thing i want only the charge enclosed by the sphere of radius x only this much volume i want you might have this much volume i don't want that i want only this much volume how do i get you need to multiply that rho with this one same thing we did So the new charge is rho into the volume. What is the volume here? Four dot pi x. What is the single piece cost into how many pieces you want? What is the charge density into how much charge you want? I am focusing on the charge of that distance displacement. So if I apply this, my total charge is Q is equal. So it is nothing but from equation number one, you know, minus three by four into Z e by pi R Q into four by three pi X Q. Three by four, this will cancel each other. Pi pi will cancel each other. Therefore, what we will get? Z e by R. Yeah, your total charge Q is nothing but minus Z E by X E by X Q by X Q by this is let us call this. Once you understand this, now you know ninety percent of the problem got. Now only simple stuff you need to write. This is clear now. Now our final step is. Let me ask. See, who dictated that? Okay, you need to go to x distance there. Yeah, then you stop. Why can't you go more than x? Who is stopping that? You apply the electric field. It can keep on going, right? But it stopped at x. Why is it so? External electric field stopping. External electric field is stopping. Electric field is only forcing to go. Electric field is not stopping. 
you know it was simply you know both of them positive or negative centers they are in love with each other they were like this okay they don't want to get separated now you apply the electric field which means you are pulling them apart so they move to x distance and stop there why can't beyond x yeah the kind of restoration is happening due to what force who is binding positive and negative charges what kind of force is there between them electrostatic force it has a name man the charge between two charges i mean uh, force between two charges coulomb charge of attraction coulomb force of attraction so here the computation understand this is the key point you achieved equilibrium at x because there is a computation between the electric field and also coulomb force of attraction coulomb force of attraction tries to put them in the same phase at the same point whereas electric field is trying to separate them when both the forces are equal it can no longer go somebody is pulling i can go to certain limit other person also pulling okay when these two forces are equal i will achieve an equilibrium so that's what i have so at equilibrium actually the equilibrium distance is x so what happened at equilibrium <coughs> the displacement is x at equilibrium means the coulomb force of attraction is equal to electrical force f at equilibrium when i say it is let x at x you achieve the equilibrium which means my coulomb force is equal to the force of attraction what is the coulomb force 1 by 1 by 4 1 by 4 by not into q1 q2 by r so q1 is what your jet key nucleus into the new charge okay so your nucleus is one and another one new charge is this one q1 into q2 is this one. new charge is minus jet key into x cube by r cube is nothing but what is electrical force charge into electric force right so what is your charge charge of the electron where minus minus z e into your electric
by e is equal to let us take it to this side 4 by epsilon naught into the left hand side is charge into distance by electric field is nothing but alpha e therefore alpha e is nothing but 4 by from 0 into the entry circle or simply I can write alpha e is proportional to r q so as the atomic radius increases the polarizability also increases that's what we are getting from this alpha e is nothing but 4 by 4 right any doubt Is the time right? You start it.